All right. You mentioned where we live specifically. What do you mean by that? We have a wide variety of weather. As you know, we've got hail, we've got strong winds, we've got tornadic activity, we've got thunderstorms, we occasionally have freezes and snow. We have one of, if not the most diverse weather patterns, especially this time of year in the country. And so that's why this area is kind of considered the hail center. We get more hail than anywhere else. And because of that, we get a lot more roofing companies in some parts of the year. Talk about that a little yeah, bit. That's, that's an understatement, Todd. We get <laughs> lots and lots of roofs. So roof, there's no licensing requirements in the state of Texas for roofers. So anybody with a truck and a ladder can be a roofer, uh, which is scary. Anytime there's a hailstorm, they come from all over the country yep. and they come in and they want to scoop up as much work as possible mm-hmm. uh, in the sh- most short amount of time yep. and then go back to either where they came from or to the next hailstorm somewhere else. If you ever have an issue, they're back in Colorado or they're back in wherever they are. It's really difficult. And uh, typically the warranties aren't as good. The construction is not as good. So uh, it's something that we deal with. I mean, they come in droves and you're right. You'll get lots of people knocking on your door. Yeah. So in my experience, uh, you know, as a real estate broker, we want to do everything we can to help advise and protect our clients. So I've always told people the obvious thing is when a guy's got a Louisiana license plate and a Dallas phone number on a magnet on the side of the truck, that doesn't mean that couldn't be legit, but it's a pretty good sign that it might not be. And then to your point, it is a unique area. To some extent, even the way a roof might be laid or certain materials are different than the Colorado guy. So even if he's really well-intentioned, he's not a local expert. So I'm not saying that all these people are horrible criminal dirtbags. Some of them are, by the way. And more likely is that you have a hardworking, well-intentioned person that there's not a lot of business where they live. So they've come to chase some here, but they are not, I repeat, are not the right choice for you here locally. 